Concerns about bank failures have led to an increase in demand for gold and silver. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains what stores are seeing and what financial experts say about the interest in precious metals. Krugerrands. Keeping the inventory stocked at Grand Rapids Coins. Fresh off the truck. Has been more challenging over the past few weeks. Three days last week, we sold completely out of gold and silver. Okay, That never happened one day in the entire calendar year that we were open in 2022. Brent Ashcroft says they're seeing a variety of buyers wanting to diversify their assets. There was a tremendous amount of foot traffic coming into this store with people with a lot of money. The store saw customers with concerns about their deposits. People are not trusting what's happening in the, in the banking system right now, and they want to put their gold and silver and their wealth into something that they know. While they're seeing some interest in people buying bars of silver, it's coins like this one that are really becoming popular. This one's valued at a little over $2,100. While there can be benefits of investing in gold or silver. There's the, the gold value by itself. You could buy like a gold bar. Um, there's also the coins, which are more of a collectible item. York Picard with Grand Valley State University says while he's not opposed to some ownership of precious metals, people shouldn't panic over recent bank failures. If that appeases you and you have a little bit of gold coins or gold bars, but the majority of the funds I would leave in the bank and have that insured with the FDIC. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation will guarantee deposits up to $250,000 per bank. Picard says other investments can produce greater returns in the long run, but investors tend to buy more gold and silver in times of economic uncertainty. But I think in the Western Hemisphere, especially the United States, um, there is very slim chance that we're going to have such dire results, a catastrophic, a catastrophic event, that you need to convert your cash into gold. Kyle Mitchell, News 8.